but in celebration of their 120 year anniversary, Stern's Jewelry Carab collaborated with African Fashion International at the ultimate bridal design event of the year that took place at Joburg Fashion Week. And uh, now they did this with 12 rings, 12 designers and 12 dresses and we will be chatting to two of the extraordinary South African de designers of course lent their exp uh, expertise and inspiration and of course experience to the entire event. One of my favorites, favorite favorites, Kubis Dipanat, welcome to the show this morning. Thank you Leanne. Okay Thanks. so we are talking about my ultimate favorite thing, bridal design. Now I know that you are huge on that but you've also got quite a broad portfolio as well, right? Yes, I started out as a um, as a normal couture designer. Mm -hmm. But as a South African, you know, we have to make some money sometimes. So I branched yeah. out a few years ago into the bridal market. And, you know, I feel that's that's sort of like where your financial uh, backbone is in yes. today's life. Yeah. Because it's the one thing that's never, ever going to stop. It, absolutely. People are always going to yes, get married. Yes, it's emotional based. Daddy will always find a few rands for, for his daughter for I getting a dress. Yes. I love that. Now, take us through this, this process of what you've done. Each designer got a ring and you had to design a dress being inspired by that ring. Am I correct? Yes. Leanne, when we got the brief, um, I chose the ring because I needed to um, reflect uh, also my DNA of yeah. what I've been doing for the last 12 years. And um, all my dresses, if you followed me, okay. you'll see that there was a lot of flowers. Yes. So I picked the simplest ring where, they re with, where some elements of flowers was reflected. Yeah. And that's how it came about to designing this, this dress. This dress well, if we can just have the model in shot right now, this is absolutely gorgeous, exquisite, um, hand detail. Take us through the design process here, Quibus, and how the ring that you received basically inspired the dress. Yes, the ring had these kind of petals. So yeah. what I did is I designed this oh. dress because, I mean, I'm stuck in the 1920s with the ultimate glamour of that Absolutely. time. I think everybody wants to be glamorous once in their lifetime. So yeah. I decided to go for a red carpet kind of look. And um, then I just, yeah, I wanted that, that whole mermaid effect. Yeah. So we drawn the flowers mm -hmm. and uh, I've sent it away and it is all handmade. Are you serious? Yes. And uh, it arrived back in South Africa. I put it together and this is what we came up with. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And yes. I love how you you know how to design for the female body. I mean, I've worn your dresses before. Everything is in the right places. But Kubis, yes. for any woman who's looking for a bridal gown, what is your top tip for her when it comes to choosing the most important dress for her important day? Love yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. Know who you are. Yeah. Don't listen to other people. Yeah. Trust your gut, you know? You, 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 you're the person that's standing in that church by yourself yeah. for your man, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Yeah, love yourself. And that's it is the I'm... most important exactly. day of your yes. life. You want to make sure that you are absolutely happy, so love yourself first. Yes. Well, yourself. there you heard it from Kubis Dipnard himself with this exquisite gown. I tell you, this is something that I would definitely wear many, many, many times over. Not that I intend to get married <laughs> many, many times over. Just saying. Thank you so much to Kubis Dipnard for joining us. We are going to be meeting with another incredible bridal gown designer a little bit later on in the show, so make sure you stay tuned for that.